Jenny. Jenny. Yes. Where are we going? Workbench con. How long have we been driving? Um, I don't know what's too long. Uh -huh. Been on the road, going a little crazy. There's nothing going on, just some cows. We're in Kansas right now. We started off in North Dakota, we came down, and now we're in Kansas, about to hit Oklahoma. We're gonna stop by my family's house for a little while in Texas, and then we're gonna jet on over to do some house hunting for when we do the big move next fall, and then uh, we'll head over to Atlanta, I guess on like Tuesday, when everybody else is getting in like a couple days early. All right, what's up? Hey. It's day one of Workbench Con. We are at, where are we at? Highland Woodworking. Highland Woodworking in Atlanta, Georgia. It's a really cool shop. This is the first like woodworking store I've ever been to. It's really nice, very expensive. We um, haven't spent too much money yet. Though. Yeah, we haven't spent so, any money yet. Yeah, go us, Not right? Not yet, Maybe? but we haven't made it out the door yet. Yeah, sure. So, anyway, we're just gonna walk around and get some B-roll. Yeah. Hey, what? Oh, hey, what's friend. up? So it's day. Two. Well, kind of the first long day. Yeah. The anyway, first long day. we did um, so much fun stuff before it even started. There's some like cool people. <laughs> Very cool people. Oh, more cool people. The, the coolest cool people. people. The coolest people. And then there's even more cool people way back there. See those cool people? Oh, there are a couple of cool people. So anyway, anyway. <laughs> a terrible job of updating because we've been enjoying ourselves trying to get and our money's just, worth just having a ton of fun uh, Anyway, yeah, so like we said, we've seen a ton of people. We've seen everybody from the modern maker podcast You just saw April walk by we met a ton of people. It's amazing how uh, chill here It's amazing how chill everybody is. Yeah, like I was expecting like I wasn't expecting people to be standoffish But like our only experience is maker fair in the Bay Area, which is such a chaotic mess that like nobody can talk to anybody it's so loud and but that's what's great about the community too everybody's been so nice and we've met so many new people um that are really really great lots of good conversations yeah. going on learned a lot of really good stuff too at the sessions yeah that's absolutely. not something i was expecting like i felt like we got our money's worth the first day and then after that yeah it and just now kept we're gonna better go better. hit up another session yeah so, so that'll be great yeah Alrighty. any other stories you want to tell nope that was pretty much it Alrighty. cool
excited. It's gonna be cool to finally like get to see somebody's personality outside of a YouTube video. Right, yeah. It's been a long week. And then we went over to WorkbenchCon. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was amazing. And I know everybody's amazing. gonna post their WorkbenchCon update video this week, so we don't wanna like beat a dead horse, but it was amazing. We met so many amazing people. People yes. like you, oh my gosh. Everybody was really friendly. I just could not get over the fact that everybody was willing to talk to everybody. Mm -hmm. It didn't matter how big or how small your channel was, or even if yeah. you had one, as even though most of the talks were geared towards content production, it was just incredible to see just how open and inviting everybody really was. It's yeah. You could it, go walk up to anyone and then you have something to talk about. Um, I mean, just ask the question, what do you make, right? It was really, really cool. Cause some of the, I feel like some of the best friends we made or some of the coolest people we met, we were just like waiting in line for something and turn around and be like, Hey, I'm Jenny. And then that sprung a whole conversation and now we follow each other on Instagram and yeah, talk to each other and yeah. Yeah, we came a couple days early and we mm -hmm. were just chilling in the hotel lobby and we saw, who did we see? We saw Chris and Johnny Bills just chilling, hanging out in the lobby and we came back downstairs and uh, sat down, started talking and uh, yeah, found out I was sitting right next to Bruce Ulrich, which is one of the podcast mates of Mark Chris from Gunflint Designs, who is one of the only guys that ever like found us when we were little. And then I guess we're still little, but yeah, we're still little. anyway, talked to him for like an hour and a half without even knowing who he was. And then when we finally said we were going to go pick up Mark from the airport, He's Bruce, like, oh, Mark? <laughs> Bruce was like, oh, my Mark. And I was like, yeah, sure. You have a Mark. <laughs> and then of course I met Drew from Fisher's shop and yes. I mean, just awesome, awesome people. Uh, those are mostly the, the gang we kind of hung out with. And then of course just met tons and tons of awesome people. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was just really weird to see everybody all in one spot. Yeah, it was really cool. And then to hear the amount of people, too, that had checked out our courses. They're like, oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. We ran into Jill. Hi, Jill. Hi, Jill. Yeah. And she was like, hey, I love your course. I have both of them. I'm halfway through the second one. And we're like, hey, that's awesome. Yeah, it was so cool so. To, to meet some of you guys, too, that follow us. We met yeah. lots of people that we've just talked to on Instagram. Way too many to mention, but I do want you to know that I am thinking of you. And holy stickers. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have any stickers because we just did the whole rebrand thing and we couldn't yeah. get stickers in time, which turned out to be a really good networking opportunity as we found out about halfway through because we kept yeah. taking everybody's DMs for stickers. Now we have a reason to talk to somebody. Right? So if we want to do a collaboration or if we want to reach out to them, just hang mm -hmm. out or talk, I've got a reason to contact those people now. So yeah. it's a really cool marketing opportunity. Maybe you can adapt that for your business. Um, you know, maybe next time you're at a conference or a, like a trade show or something like that, don't bring anything and then mm -hmm. promise to send something after the fact. And then you have a reason, you know, to break the ice and start talking to somebody that you really probably would have just forgotten about. But yeah, a lot of cool companies are there too. And that was good to see, seeing all their products. And oh man, they were giving out stuff left and right. And they're like, hey, take a t-shirt, take a sticker, take some gloves. It was great. Um, really good experience. Definitely worth the price of the ticket. Oh my gosh. Gonna go again. We made our, like, hands down. I felt like we got our money's worth from the ticket before the thing had even started. Just hanging out mm -hmm. the first day or so was uh, worth it to me. But yeah, it was amazing. That's why Absolutely it's important. Amazing. So that's why it's important to spend money making friends. Right? And that's that's essentially what we did on this convention. Yeah, we got some cool swag, we ate some food and stuff, but I mean, really, we paid $600 for tickets to make friends. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what we try to do with the stud stack, is we try to give you guys an opportunity to meet people who are running woodworking businesses, running shops, ask questions, make friends with the people that you really wanna hang out with, because there's not really any other way you're gonna get around them unless, you know, fate just brings you two together. So right, exactly. An have, excuse to meet people. Right. So don't get all worked up about like, you know, the concept of buying friendships. That's what a country club is. That's what... Uh, and it's not even buying friendships. It's buying the opportunity to make friendships. So it's not like you're buying the people necessarily. Right. Like, you know... I mean, yeah, this isn't, you know, buying people because that's definitely wrong. <laughs> it's... You know what I mean? It's not buying people's friendships. It's buying the opportunity to make that. Friendship. And it really weeds out a lot of the people that you don't want. There. I mean, like people would not spend 
three or four hundred dollars on a workbench con ticket that are not interested in producing content or running some kind of business mm -hmm. it, that has to do with like making things. That's why the that's why these festivals and stuff are so good. Is you don't get a lot of the crazy people in the comments that probably don't even have a workshop, but they throw rocks anyway. You get rid of all those people and you just focus on the people that are important. And that's, again, what we offer in the programs as well as in the stud stack is just an opportunity to learn things and an opportunity to to spend time with people that you really wouldn't get a chance to right. any other time. So absolutely, invest in yourself, invest in your company, invest in your brand. Um, yeah, get yourself some edumacation. Yeah, try it out next year. Seriously, it is, we highly recommend it.